Alright, so hey everyone, this is going to be a, another Sony Vegas tutorial put out by CMPM Studios. In this Sony Vegas tutorial, I'm going to be talking about lightsabers. There's probably plenty of these around YouTube, but just watch this one, I guess, if you are. So I'm going to drag in my media. I'm going to cut it off real quick, just if my computer would go a little bit faster. I'm sorry. Okay. Alright, um, I'm just gonna cut this out. Split. Hit S to split. Click on the clip and then delete it. And then I'm just gonna cut out some more and delete this other so I just have one small clip. Make it bigger, more visible. And I'm gonna delete the audio out. Just click U on the auto and audio and then delete. Alright, what you're gonna wanna do is bring this down, delete this enter another video track because we're going to need it later and then what you're going to want to do is go to the media manager or media generators go to the solid color alright and then you're going to want to drag in a media generator a color let's just say green because green is a cool color and then you're going to want to just exit out of this and then now you're going to want to drag it to the same as that. You're going to want to come to the opacity and you're going to want to bring it down to somewhere around 30. Just so you can see it. And then you're going to want to come to the vent pan slash crop. You're going to want to mask. You're going to want to just draw four points with the tool right here. Two, three, four, and then there it is. Now you can bring up the opacity, and then now you're gonna want to get the normal edit tool. You're gonna want to right click, deselect, and then all, and then you're just gonna. You can move these. You can press Control Z to undo what I just last did. I'm going to press it again. Alright, there we go. So now I'm going to line it up with my pull cue that I used as a lightsaber. Yeah, I use pull cues. They work perfect. You guys could use a broomstick, whatever you want. It is pretty easy. So yeah, that's all I have to say about it. And what you're going to want to do is mask this around the pool cue or whatever you used and then once you got it around I'm just gonna make it like this I'll get this lined up a little bit e better but yeah I'm gonna try to go a little bit fast so you guys can do this instead of watching me so yeah I just got that lined up and you're gonna wanna come down here and whenever you move your lightsaber, you're gonna wanna like just say you're gonna wanna move this so then you can see I moved it over there so I'm gonna wanna move it up over there again and then I'm gonna wanna move this right there and then I'm gonna wanna move that right there this is called rotoscoping it might be a little bit annoying and hard but it really pays off and makes your videos look really good if you just want to spend the time doing it so yeah that's all I have to say about it and yeah so I'm just gonna do these two to make this tutorial quicker uh, X that out you're gonna wanna copy that you're gonna wanna paste it right up here 
you are going to want to click create new copy of the source media and then click OK and then that will just be right up here you need to click right the generated media you got to make it white so just bring it all the way up and then it will go white and then now you're going to need a Gaussian blur on the green, the color of your lightsaber. So I'll just come here, click Gaussian, or click video event FX and then Gaussian blur, and then add, and then OK. And then you're going to want to make it over in the 150s. So I just delete, delete, and then go 150, enter and then delete, delete, 150, enter and then that'll be about good. Everybody has their own idea what a lightsaber should look like but yeah and then you're going to want to come up here and grab a Gaussian blur too and this is what is going to give you the glow OK, and then let's get a blur. I like to make this in the 20s. So 0 to 0. And then make the one below it 0 to 0, enter. And then that'll be good. And you can see how it sort of looks like a lightsaber right now. Now all you have to do is come to this, to the green. Uh, no, you click video event FX, sorry. Uh, you click up here where it says plug-in chain, and then you want to click on the glow, the Sony glow. I just double clicked it, and then click OK. Uh, right here you can just move these up and down to see which one you think looks the best or makes it look better. Everybody has their own opinion on how a lightsaber should look. But yeah, so you guys can just mess around with this. And yeah, I thank you. I thank everyone for watching this tutorial. And please subscribe to CMPM Studios. Thank you.